What's up creatives? This is Anthony from Visuals I Am. This is the first of hopefully many videos we're going to bring to you here on the channel. We just want to provide some knowledge and insight into the world of filmmaking and content creating and provide you with some of our experiences and help you along in your journey. One of the biggest things I asked myself when I got into wedding filmmaking was do I want to start my own company or do I want to freelance? Do I want to look for other wedding companies to shoot for? And there are pros and cons to both. Deciding which one you want to go with kind of depends on your style, how much experience you have, and really what you're looking to do in the future. And how much money you want to make. And we'll get into that. I've wrestled with this decision my whole career. And it's still something I wrestle with. The benefits to starting your own company are you're your own boss. You get to make your own schedule. You get to decide how many weddings you want to do a year. Whether that's 10, 15, 20, 120. That's all up to you. You're the one going out, finding your own clients, booking your own clients, and basically making up your own calendar. That also allows you to set your own rates. If you want to shoot 10 weddings a year, you can and you want to charge $5,000 a wedding, you can. That's $50,000 a year. Or let's say you want to shoot 20 weddings. That's part of the luxury you have in having your own company and finding your own clients. You make your rate, you set your calendar. The other benefit is style. You get to shoot weddings how you want to shoot weddings. A lot of people find this more entertaining or more fun because you get to shoot the wedding in the style of filmmaking that you have. Some filmmaking companies want you to fit in with their style, and that might not be fun for you, and that'll make this more like a job. You'll enjoy doing 120 weddings a year if it doesn't feel like a job for you, if that's actually the career path you want to follow. Now, some of the cons of starting your own wedding company, it takes time. Most clients you find are booking you for weddings that are 6, 12, 18, 24 months away. They're trying to plan their perfect day. So they might be booking you six months to a year in advance. And that leaves you without income for six months to a year or only with the deposit for six months to a year. So your return on investment is not going to happen right away. Finding clients takes time. It might take you three to six months before you find your first wedding client. So you're looking at six months to find, 12 months to actually get to the wedding. So that's a year and a half before you see any return on investment. Others might find... That owning your own wedding company means that that film is yours from start to finish. Pre-production, getting to know your clients, actual wedding day, and the editing process. But freelancing is an option. Now, freelancing is a great option for beginners. If you've never shot a wedding before, or you only have limited experience with weddings of your friends or family, and you've shot a little bit of that, companies are more like or more likely to hire you because you can capture that day and then they can take that footage from you and make magic with it in the editing process. I've worked for companies that are nationwide or local and usually the nationwide companies are more likely to hire beginners but you can also find local companies that you can second shoot for and just gain that experience. The other benefit of freelancing for companies is you can book out your calendar. I know some wedding filmmakers that shoot 120, 150 weddings a year. They book their Friday through Sunday every weekend because those companies are getting more clients. They're getting clients by the masses, and they're looking for people to just fill up their calendar with. The other benefit is if you don't like to edit, that day of the shoot, that's it. You shoot. You get to know the clients that day. You have fun with the clients. You capture their day. You hand off the film. Now, the drawbacks to that are most wedding companies only pay a lead or a second anywhere from $40 to $100 an hour. So in order to make a decent income, you've got to book a lot more dates. One way of doing this is work for more than one company. Some companies will only give you maybe 30, 40, 50 days a year. So if you work for three companies, then you can get you can book up your calendar to about 150 weddings a year and make a decent living. But not everyone wants to do that. The other drawback is, like I said before, you're forced upon the style of the filmmaking company. A lot of companies want you to shoot in their style. They'll give you a list of rules that you've got to follow, that you've got to make sure you capture this, that you've got to make sure you don't go handheld. Make sure you're on a gimbal or make sure you're on sticks or a tripod the whole time. 
And honestly, I'm going to be real honest with you. I love shooting handheld. I like the look of handheld shots. So if I'm working for a wedding film company that doesn't allow that, I'm not going to enjoy shooting that day. The other thing is there's no relationship with the client. Usually you meet the client that day and you're a stranger to them. They're a stranger to you. So there isn't that interaction that you're going to get the best out of them that day. Honestly, some people are going to enjoy doing both. Some people will want to enjoy one or the other. What I like to recommend to people is freelance at the beginning of your year. Freelance until you can afford to start your own company and you've started booking clients and you're starting to generate revenue. Once you're generating revenue, you can stop freelancing for those companies. They can hand off the dates that you've already been booked for. Like I said before, freelancing is great for beginners. Fill up your calendar, get as much experience as you can, make as much money as you can. It can be a grueling experience, but you're getting the dates, you're filling up your calendar, and you're just gaining that much more knowledge of every wedding you do. You're getting to know the landscape. Working for wedding companies can be a stressful experience, especially when you feel like you're not getting paid what you deserve and you're not building those relationships with the clients so you can fully enjoy that day and get the most out of them on their special day. I hope this video was helpful. I'm trying to pass on real life experience that will hopefully help you in the end. So again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm sure I'll be back with more. Peace out, guys.